everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys an updated video for Brute Force Save Data 4.7, and as I promised, I'm making this video to address the issue of this whole key situation. So, I've been online, I've been checking my gaming channel, and I noticed a lot of requests to make a video in regards to this whole key situation on brute force save data 4.6 4.7 or any previous version of brute force save data on how to fix this whole key where you don't have a key listed it's either showing unprotected is either showing unreadable so i'm here to offer a solution on how to fix that so first and first and foremost, so sorry about that. Let me open up brute force save data and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm using brute force save data 4.7 um, in my tutorial right now. You can use any brute force save data. It could be 4.6 or a previous version, but this should work on any version of brute force save data. So let me close this out real quick and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about is right here where it says key. Sorry, let me scroll over and it's blank. It's either saying unprotected, which I do have one a little further down for modern day warfare. So let me scroll down so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Just bear with me. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, I have Call of Duty Modern Day Warfare 2, and it's saying unprotected. There's also a situation where you would see unreadable, which would be in red, which would be on a previous version of Brute Force Save Data. So I'm here to show you guys a solution on how to address this issue and what you can do. Also, too, I'm here to address this whole PDF decryption that is shaded gray. Why can't I click on this and what can I do to fi fix this? So, as you can see, guys, I have four tabs and it's all shaded gray. And what that means is that I cannot decrypt that save because I don't have that key. Now, one solution to the problem for not having a key for a certain save, you can try to brute force that save and get the key but that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to work you i think it's like f6 or f7 you could press it on the save right or you can highlight the save right click and it should be an option here if i see it correctly give me one second um yeah i don't see it give me a second i'm gonna go through everything and see if i can actually see this setting uh, I don't see it, but there's a function key that you can press to brute force the save and try to force the save to give you the keys. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work. So I usually tell everybody do it the manual way and you have to get the key. Now, I know you guys are saying, well, okay, yeah, how do I get the key and what is the key? So let me explain what the key is for a save. So what you need to do is get something called a disk hash key. And what that allows you to do is once you add the disk hash key to your brute force save data, your game conf file, you can then close it reopen it and it would have the key listed so as i'm going to say again for any save that you have that's either unprotected it's blank unreadable or your decryption pdf is shaded gray you need to get something called a disk hash key for that save and you need to put it in your game conf file and add it in manually and then you can decrypt that save. So your third question probably right now is, okay, so I need a disk hash key, but 
where do I add this in and what does a dishash key look like? So first thing you want to do is right click, right? And you want to come down to settings, right? And you're going to go open your game conf right here. I'm going to open this all the way. So right here, guys, is where you would add your dishash key. It's down here. But before I, I get down here and explain this, let me explain this up here. So right here, guys, it says unprotected game saves. So what that means, anything that's on this list, I have to get the dishash key, add it in manually, and I should be able to decrypt that save. As you can see right here, Call of Duty Modern Day Warfare 2, which just shows in my brute force save data as unprotected, I have to go and get this dishash key and add it below, when I mean below, down here, and I should be able to decrypt that save. However, let me explain this to you. This list that's right here is outdated. It's from September 2014. So we're in fall 2014. So that means any game after September 13, 2014, right? If it's not on this list right here, what you have to do is still add that this hash key to decrypt it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So if you don't see it on this list, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna come with a dish hash key. You still may need to get it manually and add it in. Like I said, this was made on September 2014. So you may encounter a game after this date that's not even unprotected, that's not even on this list, but yet you're still having the same problem. The best way is to get the dish hash key, add it in manually, and then decrypt that save. So Again, you guys probably going to say to me, so sorry about this. Um, what is a dishash key and what is what does it look like? So let me go down here to a game and to show you a good one. I'm going to use Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Horizon, sorry. And this is a dishash key right here. The, all these numbers right here, that's the dishash key. That's what you would see in your key tab. So let me explain what this is. It has the game's name. It has all the different regions for this game. Even PlayStation Network. This hash key is secure ID file. And then the key is right here. And that's it. Now, once you have all of this information, you just come down. It could be at the very bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Where it ends. All the way down. Let me scroll to the bottom. All right. And you could just add it down here, you know. And then you can decrypt that save from whatever region. However, when you are getting a disk hash key, someone has to actually crack the actual CD to get you the disk hash key. So you probably saying to me right now, okay, so to get certain saves to decrypt, I need a disk hash key. What are two or three re reliable sites for me to get that disk hash key? I usually go to next gen update and go there and I usually find a couple of disk hash key. Then I also go to brute force save data reform.net and I register, log in, and I ask someone on there, hey, I'm looking for this game. Can you f send me a link or provide me with a site where I can get it? Or do you have this this hash key for this game? Can you email it me? Email it to me. And more than likely, you know, people who do have it will respond to you. But those are the two sites that I go to the most for this hash keys. Now I also noticed that there are a couple of Japan sites that have this hash key, and when I go back to them, I'll add it below in my comments so you guys can click on the link and go there yeah so in china and in japan those guys get the disk hash key on a regular basis i don't have a site that i would that i can recommend to you guys um i haven't 
went and got a key manually, but you guys can just go and Google and Google it, and you should guys should be able to find your this hash key for certain games. Now, let me explain something to you guys. Just because you get a this hash key and you add it in manually does not mean that, oh, it comes with cheats. Cheats is something that you have to add in for that game separately, and that's a whole different topic, so I'm not going to get into how to add a cheat manually and what you need to do. I'm just explaining to you guys this whole error situation that you can't decrypt the, your save that you want to decrypt and why you don't see the key or it's saying unprotected or it's blank or it's unreadable. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, helpful for you guys. You now know what you need to do to address this whole no key situation. You know what you need to look for. You know how to add it. Um, I gave you two sites that I recommend you guys go to. And that's pretty much it to fix this whole key situation. It's not something that you guys should be stuck on. Um, I think you guys should be capable of fixing this. So, as always, I would like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I would appreciate a subscribe. I would appreciate a like. Or even leave a comment below. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. If you guys need any additional help or brute force saved out of 4.6, 4.7, or just have a general question, feel free to shoot me an email. But as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. And peace.